morning. Well, Nigeria's market uh, recovery last week was tagged the top amongst uh, emerging markets, raising hope that those who lost money during the economic downturn may have a chance of recovering those losses as we progress through this year, if they haven't already uh, sold their shares at discount prices. What's your view on the markets at the moment and where we're headed? Well, the market certainly has come a long way, um, up 33% um, year to date. And um, that performance has been pretty much uh, broad based. Um, it's been quite strong in the banking, food and beverages, uh, conglomerates, um, sectors, uh, including the breweries as well. Um, I mean, looking into the week ahead, it's likely that we'll see a moderation in the gains we saw last week. Um, I think three things will stand out this week. Uh, one, liquidity conditions. Uh, two, the activity of um, institutional investors, and then the activity of uh, activities of speculators. Uh, liquidity conditions remain favorable, and the fact that um, competing assets like fixed income um, have pretty poor yields, you know, has really engendered a lot of investors towards the equity market. Institutional investors are looking to ramp up on equity exposure, which will support the market this week. But speculators, given the gains we had last week where the market closed up more than 5%, um, would be looking to take some profits this week. Um, as such, we expect a moderate gain for the market, uh, probably pressure in the first two days, but then a, mod a moderate gain at the end of the week. Deji, year to date, we're looking at market return in local currency terms of about 33%. Given the gains that we've seen so far this year, is it safe to say that we really aren't looking at any a screaming value right now, or are there still pockets of value to be found? Certainly. I mean, there's still pockets of value in the market. Um, I mean, up the upside uh, is uh, nowhere near where it was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but um, there, there is still value in the market, um, and it's largely across uh, sectors as well. I mean, we have to take uh, the current gains in the context of the last two years where the market has uh, suffered a pretty severe decline. Uh, so we're really just recovering um, a lot of lost ground at the moment. Um, we think, you know, going forward um, in, in sectors such as, you know, banking, food and beverages, um, especially as a lot of these uh, corporates have weathered what was a terrible year last year, um, given, you know, the stalemate uh, on, the, on the economy, really. Um, we, the outlook is positive for the economy, and so the outlook for corporate Nigeria is positive. Uh, as such, we still see value, but um, we are um, looking at a more limited upside as we go forward. Yeah, well, certainly we know that the food and beverages space was in the spotlight uh, during the course of last week on the basis of the fact that, uh, you know, government's current ex uh, expansionary policy will support growth in the real sector and thus support uh, consumers' disposable incomes moving forward. Uh, and that should a aid the sector's growth as a whole. In terms of earnings expectations out of the food and beverages space, what are you forecasting? Well, a lot of players in the food and beverage sector, notwithstanding um, the economic slowdown of last year, still engaged in lots of uh, capacity expansion and improvements in um, efficiency. Um, Nestle, for instance, is looking to improve its um, um, food line, especially its Maggi products. And flour mills has been engaged in a lot of um, capital expenditure to increase capacity and improve um, efficiency. Um, so investors, I believe, are quite uh, favorable um, towards a lot of this, especially as uh, most of the players in the food and beverage sector um, are high uh, dividend payers. Uh, Nestle, for instance, pays close to 100% of its profits and is still able to you know, engage in um, capital expenditure, uh, a lot of it recently through borrowing. Um, so from an earnings point, uh, we're quite positive on the sector, uh, the likes of Dangote Sugar, um, uh, flour mills, as I mentioned, and Nestle should, uh, should perform quite positively yeah. um, in the year ahead. And I think a lot of investor interest in that sector is justified.